Let's do it. It has to be done. We need to get the slime out of there, or it's just going to continue to populate this area with polluted oxygen. Keep your immunity up. Still have some sick duplicates. Oh! A new duplicate! Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included episode 22 where we have some sick duplicans. Even Otaku Samurai is feeling under the weather. Let's make sure everybody's jobs are squared away. Looks pretty good. Dark Spectrum, you can go ahead and practice medicine. Prometheus, no. Not at this time. Okay, so what are we going to work on? We only have... I believe the thing said two days before the next update, or maybe it's one day, maybe it's tomorrow. In any event, uh, we want to put our best foot forward. So I think we're going to mess around with the slime lung a little bit more. That way we can feel a little more comfortable with it. The whole natural gas generator was kind of a wash, but then given how much coal we have, to not use coal generators seemed foolish. There is plenty of coal at this point. So let's tackle this area. Let's tackle this area where the chlorine was fighting with the polluted oxygen. So here's what I think we'll do. I think we'll go ahead and we'll open this door here. Go ahead and put this to auto. And then let's get some air deodorizers. I'm thinking here and here and here. In fact, I'm even thinking we'll do one up here. Might be overkill. We can always dismantle them. They don't take power when we have tons of sand. Oh my goodness. It's That's more sand than we had earlier because we dug more sand up going through this thing. That's right. This is all sand. Look at all this sand here. Ooh, and a wheezwort. I kind of want that, actually. Thank you. Okay. So the real question becomes, all of this mealwood, just for 11 people to eat, I think, we, I think we could sustain more. We're not getting low immunity warning, right, because people are out here. Let's go ahead and let's up the priority with this so we can get these working here. Thank you. Now, if you come through here with polluted stuff, you should be washing it in the ore scrubber, right? I'm guessing nobody is doing that then. Mm-hmm. It's a little treacherous out here, but we're going to get it. These air deodorizers are going to help a lot. A lot. And look at that slime. Ugh. So many slime lung germs on it. Okay, so we'll say this is sweep only at a priority eight. And let's just say this one is... Let's see, we had all this... Oh, see, I had it set up before. I should have just copied all the settings. No, it's going to be algae and slime. And then, yeah, polluted dirt, rot pile, all of that along with the gold amalgam and then the what what else was it obsidian and igneous rock no sedimentary rock there you go okay hey i see a pocket of oxygen the battle against the slime lung rages on oh it does we have quite a bit of chlorine up here i wonder if we just and look, we got this polluted oxygen here. So, let's do this. Let's cut this direction. Um, yeah, this is a lot of slime stuff. So, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and just start doing this stuff one at a time, shall we? Are you going to wash it in the ore scrubber? No. For some reason. Now, wait a second. Are we not... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, 
So Justin B, zero surface germs. All right. I mean, this is all heavy chlorine concentration. The stuff should get cleaned pretty quickly. Yep, there's the slime. Scrub it again. Everybody's immunity seems to be doing somewhat okay. No germs on it. That's a good... Okay, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and we're just going to sweep all of this and all of this just to get the stuff that's putting out the polluted oxygen to go away. Hmm, that's... It's going to be a lot of exposure to slime. Well, no, because the numbers are already going down. Look at that. Just the mixture of oxygen and... Uh, of the polluted oxygen being cleaned, we already now have where we were, like yeah, like up here, 14,000 germs, 15,000 germs. That's what we had. We had some 30s, but now we've got pockets in here that barely have... Ooh, that's a dense 36... Whoa, that's a lot of slime lung germs over in that direction. Let's cancel that, please. Thank you. I don't know. Enough of all that. Enough of all that. That's too many germs. Don't go over here into this corner. That's bad. But you can go over here. Yeah, that's that's plenty good. Uh, for the most part, everyone seems to be doing okay. Let's see. How are things going up here? I don't even know if we need this pump anymore. I think we've got the chlorine up where we want it to be. So we can disable this building. And then what we're going to make is... Uh, we're going to make ourselves a little... Little safe, safe O2 shelter. Where can we do that? How about? So I don't want it to be too far, and I don't want it to be too close. We could do it right over here. Let's see, the door, the door to get inside the base is on this side. So you know what? We'll probably turn these pumps on. Actually, right? How did I have that? Uh, above zero. And activate if above zero. All right, how are we doing here sweeping? Almost all of it is swept. There's no germs on that reed fiber. Let's just leave it be. See, but look, this slime here is just going to continue. <sighs> we're going to have to. We're going to have to do it. Let's do it. It has to be done. We need to get the slime out of there, or it's just going to continue to populate this area with polluted oxygen. Keep your immunity up. Still have some sick duplicates. Oh! A new duplicate! Well, who, who is it going to be, I wonder? Hmm. Strength? Digging cooking. Tinkering medicine immunity. Construction loud sleeper. Urgh, you would need your own private room. Hmm. But you are, you are level 7 technician. Where we go with the strength digging cooking, I I think that's actually the direction we're going to go. Let me look at my list here. Let's see. How about... Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to think. Uh, let's see. Yep, okay. So then it's going to be... Skinny Lenny, welcome to the colony. Let's make sure your jobs are in order. Looks like they are. Excellent. Welcome. Now you can help out. Not a lot of germs here, but it's about to get bad. Over here, you're talking 30,000, 90,000, 180,000. So, that being the case, we don't want to go past this point actually so let's go ahead and we'll clear this up let's see if we can just mark the slime for sweeping that would probably be beneficial to what we're trying to do here did we get it all maybe nope there's one over here All right. That's pretty good. Although, I'm sure, yeah, some people are getting sick. 
Skinny Lenny with the strength. I love it. Oh, that was that was wonderful. Let's go ahead and lock it up. That, no, 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 no. You can't lock it. No. Okay. On second thought, we're just going to leave it on auto so that we can come out and deliver sand to these air deodorizers. That's, that's just the way that goes. All right. So the air deodorizer is definitely making a dent in the slime lung population over here. Hmm. So that oxygen is trying to go up and displace the chlorine. Yeah, as you can see, the oxygen kind of floating up and around this way. Why does our chlorine feel like it stopped? Oh, it's just... Oh, yeah, I see. The chlorine is kind of gushing down here and falling down here. Ooh, cold chlorine. That's like the best way to remove germs ever, right? Cold chlorine? I don't think we need to worry about you anymore. I'm pretty sure we can get rid of that. Okay, so back to what we were talking about. I'm building a, a little a little safe haven here. Mm, I think we'll just do it right here, actually. There we go, and then we'll go up like this, like that, like this. Perfect. And then an algae terrarium, and now everyone up here will have a wonderful place to catch their breath. A dedicated area, a little pocket. How are we doing for Slime Lung? Well, Slime Lung is on the decline, ooh, except over here, and it's struggling over here. We have quite a bit of chlorine. This is important. Let's go ahead and make this algae terrarium, please. Thank you. Wonderful. That will help with the need to breathe right there. I'm so glad they fixed the algae terrariums. All right. I'm tempted try and mess with the food a little bit. Oh, look at that! The area is... Wow. Slime lung dies incredibly fast in oxygen. Well, three per second. That's not that much. 29... Wait, 29% dead per cycle. Yeah, 300% spawned per cycle on polluted oxygen. Right, so it is it is not just a war against slime lung, it is the war against polluted oxygen. Now how did things get in here that were covered in germs? Alright, whatever. Um No more of that. Now you've still got stuff inside that has germs, gold amalgam. That should be It's not dropping either. Uh, okay. Well, then, let's kick it out. Heck, you know what? Let's just kick it all out. We'll let the chlorine take care of it. And then look up here. So we've got... Oh, my goodness. All of this. Dense, dense slime lung. How's our immunity doing? Stress is low. Everybody seems to be treading... Treading their immunity just, just fine. Wow, we've got a lot of calories. Perhaps we need to start thinking about more bedrooms. Hmm, let's mess with the... Uh, you know what I would like to do, actually, is I would like to mess with the mechanic of compressing air in pipes. But I don't know if you can do that in a mixed system effectively. It's gotta be... It's gotta be after the filtration. Right, so this thing here, I mean, I don't know, I guess it's not hurting anything. We can always mess with it another time. Yeah, we're going to need vents here. Please and thanks. Thanks. 
And yeah. That'll do it. That'll help. We'll get the air pressure going. Hydrogen is pumping. This area is as sterile as it can be, just about. Oh, look at that poor puff chasing the polluted oxygen. That's harsh. That is harsh. Fifteen thousand. But the slime itself has a million. A million. That's out of control. I mean, that is really, really just out of control, right? I mean... So how is it doing here? So, so for some reason, the slime lung is not growing here. It says it... Ah, doubling time every half cycle. So it will eventually cover everything. Look at all this clean air down here. So this stuff should be dying off then. Right, it is. Surrounded by oxygen, dying on solid. Should be the same thing here with the slime. Surrounded by chlorine, 100% dead per cycle. Change rate, zero seconds. Um, okay. Fair enough. Should be taken care of here pretty quick. Let's go ahead and open this up. This area is really nice. No slime lung there. We could start using that all over the place and just start using... Okay, so we can use pumps to clear out polluted oxygen that has a lot of germs in it. I think that's what we want to do. What we really need is even more chlorine. Let's see how the chlorine is doing. It's just yeah, it's just running constantly. We're max performance on the chlorine, and it's going all over the place. All right, let's... Oh, flooding, right? Nope, this needs to be back to auto, or no, back to lock, actually. I guess let's try to, let's try to dig our way down. That'll be good. Let's do that. We'll just go at a priority six straight down for here and see where we end up. We can always get more chlorine here. By digging this out. And then that out. There we go. Just like that. The thing I'm not sure about so how do we have this slime here in this area? Oh, it's not really against any chlorine. And that's a vacuum. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You can't... Can we deconstruct? Really? Can we dig? So that's just a straight bypass. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Touche. Then we'll bypass it. And all this really cold, yucky, polluted water is heading on down, I guess. That's what we get for all this ice melting. Oh, all of this is going to melt here eventually. Let's do that. We'll do this. Yeah, I'm not sure about all that. This is the area I really want to break into. I'm, I've am i kind of talked myself into believing there's a natural gas geyser over here, but it might not be. It very well could not be. Uh, but I won't know unless I can get over there, right? So let's talk about getting over there. Um, well, no, that's right. I didn't want to do the natural gas geyser, because it's not as important. Um, but we can continue to battle the germs and see what is effective. So look at all this. 55,000 in this little cluster of polluted oxygen up here. 
But down here, the air is clean, and the germs are dying. It's really good. All right, so let's do an experiment. We're going to go one, two, and three, and I think that'll help. That'll be good. We don't have a ton of chlorine pressure up here. Uh, well, we have we have a good bit. There's two kilograms over here in this side. That's pretty exciting. But last time we vented all our chlorine to the slime lung to try to battle it, we lost. So I'm not in a big hurry to repeat that. We're not going to do the 12th duplicate. We're just... We're just too close to the end of this season, and we're, we're going to start getting ready for the next season. Looks like our airflow system is working out really good. I mean, pretty good. What? What? Unacceptable. Whatever's there, sweep it up. What? What is it that's polluted water, clay? What was... Was it the bottle of polluted water? That's rough. These are priority, and then we'll keep digging down. Sure. Even this area, though. Look at this. It's just... Mm, I don't even... I don't even know how that's supposed to be. Like to, Because here's the thing is... When a bunch of people, and correct me if I'm, please, if I'm totally off base with this, when a lot of people are collecting debris off the floor, if an ore scrubber is in use, they just walk past it, you know? And if the next one's in use, then they... So you need, you literally need an assembly line of ore scrubbers, all loaded with chlorine and ready to go, before you can start processing any large amount of this. I mean, each one of these is going to need to be run twice. So for every two scrubbers, you can sweep up one pile of debris. That's a lot of scrubbers. Like, that's a lot. And you need a way to control their movement because you have to have the destination they're carrying it to. Oh no, Otaku Samurai! Aren't you fighting Slime Lung? No, you're through the slime lung. Now you just have hypothermia. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was all my fault. Look at these wheeze warts. Wheeze warts all over the place. All right. I would like to... Let's see, what do we got? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I go to my farm tiles. No. What I want is... Let's see. Hydroponic farm tile. Here. We'll just put one here for now. I want to look at the... I just want to look at the various stats that it will have. That's probably not the best place for it. Can we make that, please? Here. While they're building that, let's assess our food poisoning. Okay, so the food poisoning germs on the food on the fertilizer, the food the fertilizer on the fertilizer is absolutely going away. Right, and it appears that the fertilizer itself is still using water that has food poisoning germs, but the amount is going down. Right? It is going down? It should be. No, it's going down. It's just going to take a lot of time. Meanwhile, this section here works really well. With the water... Oh, we need to start piping it over. Okay, let's do that. Because here's my thought process, and I'm not sure if it's going to be correct, but my thought process is, as long as this water is above 80 degrees, as long as that remains the case, then even if I pump water over here that still has some food poisoning germs in it, 
Odds are, it'll die in the pipe because it's still in hot water. That's my theory. We're going to see how that works. Because the tepidizer is very expensive on the on how much power it uses. So I don't... What's going on? Oh, waterfalls. So I don't really want to use it unless it is a viable solution. Oh, hold on, hold on. Um, if it is a below... No, above... Uh, why am I using that slider? If it's above 80, run the pump. If this is below 85, run the tepidizer. Problem solved. All right, so now let's see. Oh, yeah, look. See, it's transporting germs. Yeah, but they're dying. Yep. It's like single-digit germs, and they're dying before they get over here. Oh, 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 wait. Because this is also going to heat the water up over here. Yeah, because that water is 80 degrees. So I guess this doesn't matter to be made out of abyssalite. This water is going to get hot one way or the other. But now we fix the problem with our food poisoning germs. That's good news. Let's assess the thimble reeds. How are we doing here? Is there really... No germs in the polluted water. There are food poisoning germs in the polluted water of the thimble. No! Bad Boys Gaming! Get down here, there's... It still says you're suffocating. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Go here. Okay. Alright, good. Yeah, look at all this bleach stone just... Off gas and chlorine. Very good. This whole area got sterilized with these pumps. Because now the chlorine is very low pressure, but it doesn't matter if there's any chlorine. It's going to going to kill the germs. So you don't need a high pressure of chlorine, which means that this area over here is sort of wasting its chlorine. Bad boys gaming. Please, be careful. What are you doing that is making you suffocate? Oh, you're still... You're still leveling up your... Athletics! That makes a lot of sense, actually. A lot. Alright. I think... I think what we learned, really, is that these air deodorizers are a big deal. Look at that. We're down to three digits on some of these. And then this over here. Even this stuff. Even... Even the items on the ground are... The slime lung is dying on them because they're not slime and they're surrounded by clean oxygen. Now this slime, on the other hand... Still stuck with 99 germs. It's just fractions of slime lung germs that refuse to go away. But my fear is, if this piece of slime literally has 99 germs on it and it's surrounded by chlorine or... It was surrounded by chlorine. It has 99 germs on it. Then if I... If I pull... If I pull this slime out of this environment where it's surrounded by chlorine, is that the only thing that's keeping it from exploding uh, its germ population? If I take it and, say, put it in some mushrooms and some carbon dioxide, am I then going to see it race up to a million again? I don't know. That's my question. That's what I'm curious about. Sleet wheat. Let's look at what we can grow here. So sleet wheat is going to take fertilizer and water, which we have 20 kilograms a cycle. Well, we have a lot of fertilizer. I just don't know about the water. We'd have to go tap the um, steam geyser on the left. Bristle berry. 1,600 calories versus sleet wheat grain 25. And the fungal spores give you 3,200 calories, which I really like. Alright. So it requires water, fertilizer. It can do oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide. Minimum of 150 grams, minus 55 to 5. Alright, let's mess with that. Let's let us have some fun with that. Okay. So... So here's what we'll do. We'll dig all of this down. And all of this. 
No. We're going to need stuff that's cold in order to keep this area cold, right? Well, minus 22, minus 19, minus... It seems to be pretty cold in here, all things considered. But we can go ahead and at least start to do the sleet wheat. Um, right, let's not worry about this in hindsight. But all of this polluted oxygen in here, I'm not a fan of that either. Although it's not going to have any germs. I guess as long as it doesn't have any germs, it doesn't matter. It's not like anybody's going to be able to... It's not like anybody's going to be able to um, catch a slime lung infection in here. Slime lung won't even be able to, to breed in this area. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's okay. Look at this. No slime lung over here due to how hot everything is from the steam geyser. That's kind of exciting. Let's dig out this direction. And then we'll ladder down. We'll put our pump here. Right. And then the bisolite piping will run up and over. Oh, oh, easy does it. And then down. Alright, that being the case, we can go ahead and... Let's see, we're going to need gas permeable tiles there. Got a ladder here. Ah, electricity. Alright, well, let's discuss our options for where to plug in. Kind of a long, windy road. What do we got? Potential power consumed 1.1 kilowatts. That's too much power. That's too much, too much power. 960, 850, and a liquid pump is 240. Mm, 720. Wait, 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 no, 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 that's, that's the one that's pushing 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 Let's not do that. 840, 960, 850. Oh, yeah, we'll just pull right off of the main circuit. How silly of me. Alright, well, that'll get the power over there, and then we can... Mm, let's see, this isn't going to be the cleanest way to do this with the pipe, because we have... Uh, so then here's what we'll do. We'll do abyssalite tiles. Here, here, and here. Right, and then we'll dig with a ladder down to here, and that should solve the problem. At uh, which point we'll take our abyssalite piping and run it down, and we'll start discussing our sleet wheat, so we can get this done. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's going to be an issue. Go ahead and go gas permeable tiles, right? And then we'll immediately try and say we'll go three up from here. And then three down from here. And we'll do the same thing again. Wait, these are hydroponic farm tiles? No, they're regular farm tiles. Grr. Okay. Take it back. Hydroponic farm. Yep. One, two, three, four, 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 like that. Okay. That's not going to be gas perm tile. That's going to be a ladder. And we'll do one there. Sure thing. Okay. Although we don't really need to get rid of this, do we? Unless we're going to do one underneath it. Which, why wouldn't we, actually? Alrighty, and then we'll go to an airflow. Wonderful. I like this. Okay. 
Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because we found the second geyser. And, to be completely honest... We, um, we're doing fine with the water we have from this geyser. At least that's the way it appears. Let's open this up. Again. So we have water to spare, and because we have water to spare, I want to try my hand at this sleet wheat. So that we can see just how well it works. In fact, I don't even have a cooking area. We do not even have an electric grill anywhere. We're going to need one of those. Maybe we'll just cook up here with the hydrogen? No, that would be silly. That would be silly. Although we can get rid of these. Let's do that. We'll get rid of those. And then we can put our cooking station over there and we can check out... We can check out the... Sleet wheat grain cooking and see if it's different. I imagine it's much the same except now you don't have to worry about getting a, you know, perfect harvest. But that's where we're going to wrap things up. I believe the update uh, is coming out soon, so I don't know if this is the last episode or a second to last. Could be the penultimate. Not sure. But in any case, this has been Oxygen Not Included, episode 22 of season 4. Remember, Season 5 will be starting shortly with the new update. And I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. So come back next time to either see the end of this series or the beginning of the next one. But until next time, take care.